Let me get the chop in this fable. We in the building. DB4. Die before me gaming. Salute to the subscribers, man. Hey yo, let me know if you vibing or if you subscribing. Shout me a holler in the comment section. DBMG, what up? All my RTS people, what up? All my RPG people, what up? Oh, we gonna get it together. Let's turn up. Yeah, you already figured the streets out. Yeah, right. It's all about smiles and cries. What the joint down, man? What the fuck is that? Hey, hold on, Lars. Hold on, hold on. Smiles and cries. Smiles and cries. Smiles and cries, I hear you. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta control your smiles and cries. Because that's all you have. And nobody can take that away from you. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, all right. Check it, check it out. Welcome back to Realms of Magic. We are here for yet another glorious episode. Let's get it. Oh man. Realms of Magic, man. Now, in the last episode, we actually did something new, something a little bit different for this series. We actually did an episode of film. Now, that's fully immersive, laid back mood. It's basically where we just chill. Not too much commentary, if any at all. Now we do these film segments as like certain portions of videos, but that video specifically, The Feud, we decided to do the entire video as a film segment, just so we can get fully immersed in this type of gameplay. Now in this episode, we're gonna continue along with the main storyline. If we check the map real quick, we completed all the side quests in this little area that's relevant to this region. And the last one was the feud over here. We did that in the film segment. Now we're gonna go continue with the main storyline for Wheatfield. We got the old meadow, but before we head over there, I just wanna go over some of the supplies we picked up last episode. There wasn't no commentary, so I wanted to just keep this in my inventory so I remember to speak about it at the very least. Now, we managed to get a bunch of good stuff. We got um, the Watcher Sabatons. We also got the Warrior Pauldrons. We got uh, the Explorer's Jacket, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good mage set. It's just not better than our death mage situation when it comes to the necromancy summon damage. You know what I mean? It's pretty good with everything else, like mana regeneration, all of that other stuff. It's pretty good. You know what? Hmm. It's, it just it does a lot like 42% less damage from the necromancy summons but it actually gives us a lot more fire damage and everything else I might consider wearing this eventually but not now but not now we also got you know just some regular weapons and stuff and we got another piece of the old gods we want to put that book away as well where did I where was I storing these old gods books they over here yeah a lot of this stuff we're just going to store over here for now we'll put it in a proper place later on we also got some essence and a lot of different scrolls. Um, I know we didn't use all of our potions, did we? Oh. Let's split these and take half. Popping potions for nothing. Well, we can make a bunch more potions, but that was just a huge waste. Can't cap. All right, we're going to put some of these potions away, and you know what? I'll roll with some stamina potions. Why not, right? Man, I just wasted a bunch of potions. Let's put out, put these essences away. Now, these essences, we can actually use these to make more abilities. Get more ability points. Now, this hatchet, we don't got to worry about that. We'll put that in, in this place over here. Now, the last thing I want to do is pop these scrolls. We got two cooking scrolls. 1,400 apiece. And we got a tannin scroll. And we have a, a scroll of armor three. Perfect. We good on food. We good on water. We good on everything. We just going to get up out of here in a second. As soon as we put this muck away. We don't want to. We want to have an empty inventory. All right. Now we're good. 
Now let's go. To, I actually want to load this up before we leave. Yeah, now we're ready to go. Let's go to the new map. Old Meadows. And I think we already have somewhere we can dig down. No, not right there. Hold on. Oh, we got food and water. I wonder why our guy's not eating. All right, neither one of those places. We can take from. Just trying to keep my eye out for loot. Salt and wheat. Yeah, these guys look dangerous. Just in case. The end is nigh. Who are you? And what are you all doing here? I am Rod the Enlightened. And these are my brethren. For God's sakes, you're Rod. Brands are printed. What are you doing here? <laughs> Yo, I used to be a fetch boy. Now I serve a greater purpose. We all do. What greater purpose? The old kingdom is crumbling. Sickness and despair are ravaging its people and land. But there's a new beginning emerging. A life without pain, false hopes, or broken leaders. Oh, eternal life is, oh my God, is stagnation and unity. You speak nonsense. What happened to you? All right, who told you these lies? I like this one better. What? I was enlightened. They came to my place at night and took me at first. I was afraid and cowered before them. Then they brought me before the exalted one. He spoke of a grand vision of the future. I was so amazed by his wisdom. You must be enlightened as well, stranger. Your visions, you speak of in riddles, Rod. <laughs> I need to do nothing. Are you threatening me? All right, Rod, I'm trying to give you a chance, Rod. I know you're a cultist, Rod. Relax. Oh, my God, they're killing people? Oh, no, Rod. This isn't going to end well, Rod. I speak of the ancient arcana, the fine art of endless living. I speak of necromancy, stranger. Those who won't join the true fate will be killed. And restricted as minions and resurrected as minions. Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to talk about resurrecting minions, huh? The forbidden lore. You're a lackey of a necromancer. You're killing your people and resurrecting them. The ones who were friends to you. They are my friends no more. And I see that you've already made your choice. The Shia will prevail. Brethren of the eternal darkness. Kill that mud girl. Die! Oh yeah, this is in. This is not gonna end well for you or your your cult buddies, cause I'm the necromancing king. Hope you know. Yeah. Yep. Rod's corpse. You know what? We're gonna leave Rod. Rod is gonna be the only guy that doesn't get buried. We'll bury the initiate. We need we might need his corpse for evidence. Um We're not gonna bury this guy. Rod is insane. He's over here killing folk. Rod is insane. He he wasn't the boss of this uh map either. So we have to watch out. Rod's probably got somebody else on this map. Well, the enlightened one, right? Yeah, we probably got to kill the enlightened one. Because if we check the map, um, it's only five seekers. Oh, there's no, there's no boss on this map. It doesn't look like. Okay, well, we'll still take out the enlightened one. Yo, relax, bro. Bro. Relax, bruv. Don't chase me. Don't chase me. 
It's a lot of fly over here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You got a skeletal mic. That that guy's pretty tough. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's pop some potions. There's a that's a secret down there. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Let's bury this guy. And dig this muck up. What the muck? Alright, let's get it. Take all. Oh, what was that? Explorer sex. No. Yes. I meant to say. <laughs> this is what we were looking for. Yes, now we got the full Explorer set. Except for the hat. We need the hat. I'll take this Mithril one off. We got the Explorer set with the Death Maid set. Now, actually, I'll take the shoulder pads, too, when it comes to the Explorer kit. I'll take the shoulder pads. I'll wear that. And I'll, I'll even, you know, I'll balance it and take off the Death Mage kit for now. If I, could, if I find both pieces, I'll wear it all. Oh, wow. Take all. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Only my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fucking touch me. You piece of shit. Guy came at me with a bloody a bloody dagger. All right, let's go up here. It's got to be a secret up here, right? There's no way you make this part of the map without making a secret. Oh, that was the secret. I'm just too clever. I know I don't have to do this, but you know, there's a down point to this. Let's go down. Hello? Hello? Anyone down here? Take all. Thank you. This looks dangerous. You know what? Before we go down, let's finish. <laughs> let's finish the surface, shall we? Oh, there's not much surface left. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a coup. Oh, that is so good. That's how you use a coop. Okay. Unlock that. A rabbit hut. So you put the feed in, you get bones, meat, pelts, and fertilizer. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. We're making we're making a barn, folks. Um, I like the way this looks, and I, I never used this. This is the only thing we haven't done. If you take a look at our skills, we have no husbandry. All the husbandry we got <laughs> actually came from scrolls. So, like, we didn't do any husbandry, but, you know, for that one quest... But yeah, we got all this stuff from scrolls. 33 levels off just scrolls. So you don't even have to do the skills. You could find like scrolls to level up. But you, as you can see, it's way slower than everything else. If you're just going off random chance of finding one. But, you know, can't be too mad at it. It's still it's still good. All right, now we can go down. Let's, let's do it. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get some more wisp. A whisper to help me see in the dark. Get a bodyguard or two. Now we're good. Whoa, whoa, relax, relax, buddy. There's ledges. There's ledges. There's ledges over here. Oh, all right. I know what both. I know what both secrets are. I just saw it. I just saw it out my peripheral. I saw it. This is like one secret, all right? Yeah, inside the barrel. Is this a bronze shield? My mithril is better than this. Way better. Take all. There's another one down here. See it? I see it. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's interesting. You can't get that way, huh? Oh, oh shit. What the fuck? Wargs. 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 Holy shit. Ooh, that scared me a bit. Take all. Oh, 
ver. No, they're not letting me do the thing. Where I jump up and get in there without actually being on that level. Okay, take all. That should be the last. Yeah. All right, so that's the last secret. And it looks like it's also the end of the map, the end of the road. That was the boss, huh? The wargs. I think the wargs are probably the most toughest thing on the map. All right, all right, I ain't mad at that. Not mad at that at all. Let's let's head back to base real quick, and then I think we'll go talk to. Hold on, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait. Oh, I got to report back to Trun. I'm about to say, okay, wh what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to go back to Trun. So, you know what? Let's let's actually double back and head to Trun now. Trun. Tr Trun. All the cultists are dead. Okay, Trun, Trun, Trun. I'm trying to remember where this Trun dude was at. I'm trying. It, it, it eludes me at the moment. Trun, Trun. This is this guy. Trun, Trun. You know what? Let's steal some. Let's steal some of this dude's craps. Mind your fucking business, guy. All right. Nobody was talking to you, Judson. You piece of shit. Judson is a snitch. Can't, you can't trust Jetson. Hey, these aren't our fruit. Yeah, hey, right. I know. I know. Oh, so Trun must be this way. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put out my fast boots. Pull out my flame boots. Take that, snitch. Jun. Jun. Hmm. How may I help you? You're not the guy I'm looking for. So, beat it. Olivia. Let's see what he has to say. This was his... It was his apprentice, right? Let's let's talk to this dude. Um, Bran. Fucking Bran. Fucking Bran. Alright, Jund. Where's Jund? Let me stay focused. Jund, Griff. Um, Talik. Not you, um, Percy, no. Where's this John dude? Art, Art the guard. Porting, um, I'm sure this isn't it. Nope, Myrtle. Nope. Anyway, Wrath, John. Tron! I was calling him Jun. <laughs> Tron! Alright, Tron. Staring suspiciously. Trust is all that matters. Hey, Tron. I've checked the place you told me about. And what did you see? Was anyone there? Rod was manipulated into some cult. I believe he wanted to resurrect the dead, my man. You mean dead men walking here? Nearby Wheatville? This distant place is ideal for such practices. Nobody will care about some peasants missing. But I care. I won't return a blind eye and wait for peasants and wait for the cultists to strike my friends. Okay. What do you want to do now? It must have just been a small group of them. We need to know where the rest may be. Before Rod attacked me, he mentioned something about the shrine. Does it ring a bell? It does. The shrine probably refers to a place called the Tainted Abbey. Before it got that foul name, the abbey used to be a shelter for the temple's priests. Many pilgrims stopped there on their journey to, the, to rest and pray with the safety of the walls. However, a few weeks back, something horrible happened. 
A great fire consumed most of the abbey together with the priests and travelers. Nobody knows how the fire started or who set it up. The place became deserted, and soon after, bandits and outlaws claimed it. To mock its previous glory, the marauders named it the Tainted Abbey. You will find it with ease. All right, what should I do when I get there? <laughs> if you should find more cultists, cut the maniacs to the man. If you can get any information about where their leader might be, that will help a lot. But be wary. They probably know about you right now. All right, I'll do what needs to be done. Go with haste and don't get ambushed. Have your eyes open and blade readied. I'll wait here for when you return. All right. All right, we got our mission. He wants us to go slay a bunch of cultists. Well, we don't use, we don't use swords, my man. So we will head to this Tainted Abbey place, but we don't use swords. So, yeah, that's a thing. I guess we'll head to that place after. Let's, let's, let's head back to base first, first and foremost. Now, that Tainted Abbey place is probably going to be loaded with cultists, so... I want to make sure we're a little bit prepared. I want to bring... Actually, I'm actually probably going to bring some potions with me, too. Now that I think about it. Let's check and see our loot that we gathered. We got some pretty good stuff. I want to make sure I put these... This armor away. We... This viper... The viper armor was pretty good. Viper armor... It held us down. The gauntlets, the boots, pants. But... Now, let's sort this out. Now we got the Explorer set. Oh, we got the Explorer shoulder pads already. Okay. You know what? We can go full Explorer. Look at us. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. With the been through set. But uh, I'm a Death Mage at heart. A Death Mage at heart. All right, let's put a lot of this other shit away real quick. Um, let's just sort this out. Let's put a lot of this shit over there. That shit over there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta put this over there. Yo, we got a we got a lot of food. Um, we good on food. We don't need to cook anything, but it's always good to have more and extra. I'm just gonna click these barrels and stuff and start stacking. Let me see. Yeah, we got a lot of random stuff. That's why it's good to have all of this stuff organized. We can just quickly dispatch all of these things. Even, even the flowers, we got a place for that. The seeds, we got a seed bag over here. We can stack that. that those are animal parts. We got a seed barrel over here. We can stack the seeds. What is this? Feather few seeds. Uh, we'll keep the feather few seeds around. Yep, yep, yep. All of these hides, we know we you know where we put the hides at. We got our hides and shit over here. Where's the tanning rack? Yep. We got the the hide barrel. Wait. Yeah, we ran out of space over there. And we got a barrel for our wool. And uh, I think I'm putting nails and wood over here somewhere. Yep. Where the nails? The nails go over here. Stack. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, now, only thing we got to put away is this muck. Now we're basically set. We ended up with another cooking scroll, another crafting scroll, wood cutting, and scroll of speed. Hell yeah. It this is just permanently gives me movement speed increase. I love those scrolls. Those are like the best scrolls to me. Wood cutting, I'll take wood cutting. We'll take some more crafting and we'll take cooking as well. You know what? Speaking of that, let's let's put some of these potions away and then pick some more up. We we should take a handful of potions with us out. Let's go to our potion bag. Um, all of these little weak potions, we'll just dump them because we're gonna end up selling those. But there's some good potions here. Let's see. Um, we got stone skin, resilience, intelligence. I want to take an intelligence potion out. And there's another one I, I was using that toughness and agility. Agility is pretty good. But resilience, magic resistance is pretty good, especially going up against um, other people. But we're going to just take a stone skin just in case we need it. 
And yeah, I'll put these other things away. I really want that uh, last piece, that this helmet, because then I'm not even going to put the full Explorer set on. That's going to feel epic. All right, we're fully ready to go, man. We got our bag set. We got our mission. We're fully ready to go, man. Dope stuff, dope stuff. We can go and get that done on the next episode. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, all right, we're going to end the video here. If you're interested in playing this game, we got some information in the description box below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.